At the moment, I'm under the sea duct of a PV1100G, which belongs to A320. And in today's video, we'll take a look how to replace a oil filter. And I'll tell you a bit about the system. So let's take a look at it. Oil filter is installed on the lubrication unit which is installed on accessory gearbox in which you have most of the components and inside you can find the uh, oil pump and as well you have here chip detectors. When oil is returning from the compartment it passes uh, around the chip detector and if there are any sort of debris it will be catched by and if they are magnetic of course they'll be catched by uh, chip detectors. Then it continues inside of the filter and then from the filter into the tank. And today we'll take a look on the filter in what state it is and of course we'll replace it with a new one. So let's start. We need to start with the draining of the oil filter and since it's big I prefer to have such a big tank under underneath. And goes out. Good. And since I want to know if there are no debris, I brought such a filter, which will catch everything what we can find inside. So if there will be any debris, we're gonna see it on the filter. But of course, it takes some time. To get a drain. Come. Let's see. A few moments later. We're almost in the end, but still just a drain uh, the inner part. So here we still have a sort of certain oil level, but yeah, at least um, most of it is almost out. And what comes so far out, there are no particles, which is good. So we have a awning on the drain port. And important is to mention that there are no, uh, there is no helicoil, there is no, no damage on the thread. Uh, helicoil inside looks fine, which is good. And now we can start with uh, losing of all all six nuts and then uh, it should be easy to pull out uh, uh, the cup because the filter or the bowl is spring loaded but you will see later on so let's start All nuts are out, and now we can pull it out. You can use either screws for removing it, or you can just pull it. So, most of the time it goes quite easily, and you don't need to have uh, screws to remove it. So, as you can see, it's out. And I want to catch the oil and get it through and there are no particles, nothing, it's clean, which is perfect. And this is our bowl, uh, this is what I meant with that spring loaded filter. See, you have this lever, which actually uh, push the filter inside of the housing. So actually, and it helps you to <laughs> remove it. And 
you can see that there are no debris everything looks fine and as well the helicoil inside looks good no damages to the helicoil which we want now we'll clean the bowl here is the o-ring which need to be replaced later on and yeah the one is on the drain bolt as well good so i'll leave this for later and now the filter itself Now I need to inspect the filter itself, if there are no debris, if it is uh, clean uh, and then we will proceed with the installation. Thank you, so two warnings inside, one on the inner edge, the other one on the outer edge. this magical thing so the holes are here the the push out bolts yeah it's behind the gap this is what I want to achieve you uh -huh. see yeah I don't want to get it there in the gap yeah. so it's behind yeah. which is good Evenly distributed power, so it will sit exactly as we want it. Important to say, as always, is that these are self-locking nuts, so they need to go this hard. That that way we'll achieve proper securing on the spot. So now we switch to the torque wrench. And we set the torque value. Once this will be done, we will install the drain port. Good. Torque value set, and we go in the cross pattern. Still not fully tight, so. Okay, this one is tight. So. Now this one sits. One. Two. Three. So far, yes. Looks good. Four. In the morning, the island. We want to do it with Josef. So, yeah. Yeah, I need to. Yes, of course. Speak with him? Yes, he says that if he will gonna have a time and we'll be finished, yeah. and the guys behind us will be finished, yeah. we can go for run. Now the drain plug, the the uh, o-ring has been replaced. My colleague was here during uh, each o-ring replacement, and of course uh, lubrication of the o-ring. Now we'll try the compartment. And we can install our drain plug. Okay. And the final torque.
Perfect. I cleaned the whole compartment. So basically now we just need to close the sea ducts. And yeah, whenever everything else on the airplane will gonna be finished, we can uh, push the airplane out and we'll perform a leak check. So let's close the sea ducts. And since the sea ducts are lowered, we can close the latches of the sea duct. We have uh, L1, which is split in L1A and L1B. Then we're closing L2, then BLS 3, 4. And final one, L5. That's it. Let's reactivate the thrust reversers. Good. That's it. And by the way, if you want to see full procedure, how to open, secure and close C ducts and fan codes, in description, you will find link to video where I've been talking only about that, or you can click in the link in top right corner. So now let's uh, make a leak check. Start. What you can see here is pretty standard start procedure. We need to focus on the starter valve, if uh, we have enough pressure in the duct, if ignition is on, then we mm -hmm. check N1, EGT, N2, of course fuel mm -hmm. flow, and especially since we work on the oil system, okay. we need to check oil pressure and oil quantity if we are not losing oil. But of course, everything was okay during the run. So after five minutes of oh. engine run, we switch off the engine and we will take a look if there is no leak. Fuel flow zero. Happy? But I think, uh, have Josef to check it because he is making the engine run or? Most probably. Yeah. Let him look at it. Looks good. Yeah. Me happy. <laughs> Let's see what the master runner will gonna say. And of course he was happy. So we are closing the sea decks. We'll close the Funko and we'll prepare airplane for the flight. That's all about oil filter on PV1100G, which belongs to A320. If you have any questions, please write down in the comments below. As always, I would like to ask you to don't use this as a replacement for your maintenance manual, but always use latest documentation released by manufacturer. Uh, big thanks to Austrian Airlines that they let me to record all these videos for you. Big thanks to each and everybody who watch my videos and especially big thanks to members uh, that's all from my side. My name is Tomáš, this is Erka Maintenance with Zeto, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.